On April 15, 1947, Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier in baseball by playing his debut game with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Jackie Robinson helped gain rights for colored people in MLB and helped gain civil rights for all African Americans in society. In 1865, slavery ends as the South is defeated by the North. However, the life for African Americans improved very little. Even though slavery was abolished, blacks were still forced into sharecropping and treated poorly in society. The black codes were installed, taking away any hope of equal rights. Blacks were now considered servants to whites instead of slaves. As Reconstruction failed, the black codes became a way of life. The government made racial segregation legal with the case Plessy v. Ferguson in 1896. Segregation was a separation of blacks and whites. They could not eat in the same restaurants, drink out of the same water fountains, watch movies together, or go to the same school. Blacks and whites were separate but not equal. Most blacks were not able to vote in public elections because local authorities charged poll taxes and required blacks to pass a literacy test that whites were not required to take. African Americans were also being lynched for minor reasons such as stealing, attempt of registering to vote, or speaking for equality. In 1909, W.E. DuBose and others formed the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, also known as the NAACP, which fought for colored civil rights, political equality, and social justice. One of the first things the NAACP did was release an investigation in 1919 called 30 Years of Lynching in the United States, 1889 through 1918. To help raise national awareness of the issue and end its political and economical terrorism. Throughout the early and mid 20th century, the colored people started to stand up for their rights and responsibilities in the communities across the country. One example was Jack Roosevelt Robinson, most commonly known as Jackie Robinson. In 1939, Jackie Robinson transferred from Pasadena City College to UCLA. While at UCLA, Jackie Robinson lettered in football, basketball, baseball, and track, becoming the first athlete in UCLA history to ever letter in four sports. He was best known for his skills on the football field. At the time, UCLA was one of the most integrated college football teams in the country. This helped show him that not everybody believed in racial segregation. In 1941, Robinson decided to leave UCLA, believing that a higher education at the time would not provide him with a quality job. He got this idea because his brother had graduated from the University of Oregon and won a silver medal with a time of .04 seconds just behind Jesse Owens in the 1936 Olympics, but was then working as a janitor on the streets of Pasadena. He moved to Honolulu, Hawaii, where he played football for a semi-pro Honolulu Bears. His football season was cut short when the U.S. enlisted him into the Army after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Robinson served in the U.S. Army from 1942 to 1944 as a second lieutenant. He never got to see combat, but had an encounter that got him arrested. He was arrested during boot camp because he refused to move to the back of a segregated bus during training. This shows how much courage Robinson had to stand up for segregation, which later helps him impact America. At the end of all of this, Robinson was honorably discharged from the Army. Later, on July 26, 1948, President Truman issued an executive order, 9981, which ordered the desegregation of armed forces. After being discharged, Robinson went on to play baseball in the Negro Leagues for the Kansas City Monarchs. At the time, all sports were segregated. People of color played in Negro League, while whites played in major leagues. The Negro League was constructed by Andrew Rube Foster, a former player, coach, manager, and owner of Chicago American Giants. But one man felt different about the segregated leagues and had a new plan. That man was general manager Brian Tricky of the Brooklyn Dodgers. When Robinson was still playing his first year with the Monarchs, Mr. Ricky sent his scout, Clyde Sukeforth, to meet with Robinson and tell him he was waiting to see him. Another man that was on board with this idea was the new commissioner of the MLB, Mr. Chandler. Chandler quoted, If they can fight and die in Okinawa, Guadalcanal, and in the South Pacific, they can play ball in America. On April 15th, 1947, Jackie Robinson made his debut game with the Dodgers, finally breaking the color barrier in Major League Baseball, America's pastime. Even though Jackie Robinson is given credit for being the first African American to play in the Major Leagues, the first actual African American to play in the Major Leagues was Moses Fleetwood Walker, 
the credit was given to Robinson because of his popularity and talent. As soon as Robinson started playing, baseball slowly started to integrate. When Robinson was retiring, there were a combined 51 colored players on rosters in Major League Baseball. When he was done with baseball, he had a batting average of 311. In 1949, he won the MVP of the National Leagues, he became the first Rookie of the Year in 1947, which is now named after him, and also led his team to six World Series, one World Series championship. Jackie Robinson might not have been the greatest baseball player, but he is the most important player in baseball history because of his role in breaking down racial barriers. Robinson changed the rights for colored people by giving them an opportunity to prove themselves in America. Even though Jackie Robinson was one of many civil rights leaders, like Martin Luther King Jr., he helped change the way America looked at colored players and people before MLK Jr. started his fight for our rights. The civil rights movement started in the early 1950s after Jack Robinson had made history. As if history on the field was not enough, Jack Robinson joined the NAACP board and also went to the front lines to help fight for the rights and equality of colored people. Robinson once said, Certainly, if revolutionary change can be brought about in baseball, it can be brought about in education, in transportation, and in any other areas of our American life. Jackie worked on changing America with Martin Luther King Jr., but also opposed the ideas of Malcolm X and the use of violence. Before Robinson passed away, in 1972, he got to see what he had been fighting for all along. The equality and rights he, Martin Luther King Jr., and others had fought for. Jackie Robinson's success can still be felt and seen today in America and around the world. On April 15, 1997, 50 years after Robinson had made history, MLB decided to do something in his honor. Mr. President, President, this is Robinson, ladies and gentlemen. Throughout its long history, Major League Baseball has operated under the premise that no single person is bigger than the game. In honor of Jackie, Major League Baseball is taking the unprecedented step of retiring his uniform number, number 42, in perpetuity. Number 42, from this day forward, will never again be issued by a Major League club. First thing that you notice is everybody wearing the number 42. It's all over the place. You know exactly the reason for today. You know exactly what he meant to the game. It's mind blowing. Like I said, it, it gives you chills every time you go out there and wear number 42. It was very special to be able to put that number on and just represent, you know, what he stood for and all the struggles he went through for me to be able to play this game. I think of it as a prideful thing and, and I take a lot of honor and, you know, respect when I go into the game and wear that 42 on my back. Wow. You know what I mean? It's, it's legacy. The number alone is tremendous responsibilities and uh, being the last player to wear number 42 is a blessing and a privilege and an honor. If you look at most sports, if not all sports, they are all integrated, thanks to the help of Jackie Robinson and others. A Jackie Robinson Foundation was created in his honor and name to help the underserved population of students to a higher education. Jackie Robinson was a true pioneer in baseball community and a hero to America and its colored people. There's no doubt that the most important African American in our history was Martin Luther King. There is, I think, similarly no doubt that the second most important, and not second by much, was Jackie Robinson. Jack Robinson's impact was greater than just out of the baseball. He was a transforming agent. And in the face of such hostility and such meanness and violence, he did it with such amazing dignity. He helped to set the course for the country. Were there better baseball players than Jackie Robinson? Yeah. Were there more important baseball players than Jackie Robinson? Who? He was, he is, and will always be, a hero and icon to many that play and enjoy sports today. Yeah, boy. Yes, 
Yes, Jackie hit that ball. <laughs>